Hi folks, very warm welcome to another Taven tutorial which cares today about yearly time switches. Yeah, so time management systems, for example, to control all, let's say, time related functions in such prestigious buildings like we do have here in the background. Nevertheless, if you talk about light control, ventilation or whatever, or if we do have to, uh, uh, let's say, manage a solution like to illuminate uh, the yard, whatever, uh, under the circumstance of, let's say, astronomical functions, so sunset, sunrise, however. What is my aim? What is uh, the topic of today? Finally, I want to make you acquainted physically with this time switch, which is called TR641, TR642, TR644. The last ending number finally gives you an indication how many relays, how many channels, for instance, we do have here in the controller. So the discovery is finally, you discover here two. So that means you have two channels, two relays inside. I open here the flap. You discover here at the ending the four, you discover here four different channels which we can control. The good thing is finally the operating principle of all these appliances is totally identically. So due to that I put this aside so we have a better view on just this one here. I take the TR642 as an example to make you acquainted with some different things. If coincidentally you do find here an extension which is named RC, so which means radio controlled, so then you do have an appliance where mostly <coughs> you do have an antenna which is applied to this uh, controller here and then the antenna finally receives absolute precise time signal and uh, controls finally precisely to the second uh, this controller. Yeah, so this just as uh, added value. Then you discover here external one, external two. What does it mean? So you can apply here on these two external control, uh, yeah, let's say, uh, terminals. So uh, here you can apply external push buttons. So you can control or manual override this nice controller here remotely, if you like. Or you can do it physically, directly on the device. So if you discover here one, you discover here two. So if you want to override manually channel one, so you just press both and the discovery is finally, so from off, now we do have the on signal, so the relay was auditable, switching on. If you want to off it again, so just press it together again. So then you have just done a manual override. <clears throat> or if you remain a little bit longer, so then the discovery is finally permanent on. Or again, you press longer and you remain and then it turns, it turns to permanent off. So this is a permanent status, so that means whatever comes from the time controller here, it is not executed finally because permanent override means this status is permanent. If you want to open again, so ju then just a short press and then you are back in automatic mode. So there is no additional uh, information here in the display, so permanent or whatever. What you need to know as well, <clears throat> so we do have here two channel appliances here, we do have here uh, relay two, we do have here relay one. And uh, what does it mean? So this relay is a dry contact <clears throat> and uh, on these dry contacts you can apply each 600 watts of LED load if you need. So it's absolutely benchmark currently in the market. What does this information tells you? R8A. This means this nice controller here gives you eight years of power reserve. So that means in the unlikely event that you do have a power cut. So that means disconnected to mains. So then the battery inside stabilizes finally the time program inside and keeps the time program ongoing. But the relay does not switch on. When the mains comes back, so that means we do have here uh, probably uh, yeah, discovered the mistake, the fail, the disconnection and everything is uh, fine again. So then the last status finally according to the time program will be executed again. 
So there is a absolutely professional tool in your hand currently. Yeah, what you discover here as well, you discover here a small interface. For which purpose? Pretty simple. We do have here a small card, so which is called Obelisk memory card. And if you plug this memory card in, so then you are acquired, so what you intend to do. You get here a text which tells you finally, or which is acquiring you. So you want now the Obelisk program, which is here, you want to download into the device. Or if you press here, this button, and this adding, uh, adding a symbol here uh, guides you. Now you can control or you can upload finally the program, which is uh, manually programmed here and you upload it here to the memory card. Yes, this is what I want to do. And I just press OK and confirm again. And now we do get an upload from the controller into the memory card. We go more into details in uh, chapter four when we talk about the software programming, but just that you have an idea what you can do with. And now you have here, for instance, let's say a kind of backup, which you can put aside. So in the unlikely event, somebody probably unauthorizedly has uh, erased the program. So this is your, let's say, backup. And anytime you can download this program again into the controller. That's what you need to know firstly. In regards of the, let's say, wiring, <clears throat> you discover here quick fix terminals. So there are no screws. So I put it in such a way, you discover here you have two, let's say, gates and uh, you can just take this copper core and under an angle of 45 degrees, I think this is a good view, so you have just to pull it in and that's it. If you need another wire, you take the other wire and just pull it in and that's it. Yeah, And now it is fixed, no screws, nothing else is required to unlock just take a screwdriver, press it down and done. Okay, so that's all for, let's say, the, yeah, let's say, physical things around. Let's come to the programming finally. Probably you discovered here we do have menu. So with the menu, you enter the controller in order to create a new program, to acquire the program, to delete, for instance, a program or do some, let's say, physical settings. Um, that means, for instance, these external um, gates, these external inputs you have to activate. So this, for that purpose, you have to use the manual and to open or to set the reasonable settings. With these keypads here and here, you can go forward, backward. So it's, uh, let's say, uh, added value to navigate. And you do have here the OK button to confirm your selection or to confirm your setting. Let's get started. So I opened here with menu, programming. And uh, if I press further on, so we do have a simulation. So that means we can acquire the program, what is still programmed. We can go ahead. So that means time and date. We can modify the current time or the current date if required. Or for instance, the format of the time. So AM, PM, for instance. So if I confirm, for instance, now the, with pressing OK and go now ahead to date or to summer winter rule or weekday numbers, form date, form time. If I go to form time, I confirm this and now I can modify to AM, PM and confirm it by pressing OK. And now out of the sudden, I do have here, if I go back AM, PM mode into the controller let's say set. Okay, so let's get started in terms of how we can program, let's say, a weekly time program. So that means I choose program. I do have here a two-fold time switch. So that means now it's my choice to, defi to define if I want to, yeah, to program channel one or channel two. If you want to go to channel two, take this key. If backwards, I go to this one, I start with channel one, I confirm by pressing OK, and now I have a huge amount of, let's say, programmings, programming options finally, and uh, I start with a P0, so this is a weekly program, and you get guided by the text which tells you now, let's state, let's start with creating a new program. Yes, I will do so. I do have here a switch time, 
<coughs> and I confirm this by pressing OK. You discover here on, so that means the relay shall switch on. Yes. And now you can, for instance, yeah, set your desired time when this time controller, for instance, shall switch on every day uh, in the week, for instance, or separate it into different weekdays. It's up to you. We will do step by step. So let's assume, so early morning, seven o'clock, for instance, we want to have a switch on time. If you want, you can set now it precisely to the minute. Okay, I leave it like it is. So if you watch carefully now, you discover you do have here these one till seven. So that means this is a total week program starting from Monday till including Sunday. So if you want to have that, so then you have just to confirm by pressing OK. But we want to make you acquainted with how you can do it individually. So for instance, Monday till Friday. So how to manage. So you see the number one is blinking here. So, um, well, probably it is better for you to discover here. It's exactly that what I mean here, the one. So and now I confirm by pressing OK. So Monday is the day which I want to have to. And exactly this time program here, 7 a.m., I copy now, yeah, because I want to have exactly the same program on Tuesday. What I have to do? Just confirming by pressing OK. I want to have it on Wednesday. I confirm it, pressing OK. On Thursday, yes, well, I want to. Friday, yes, I want to. Now, Saturday, no, I don't want to. So what I'm using now is exactly this keypad here. So skip skip again and now you get the hint from the controller don't forget to save now which i'm doing exactly now so now it is saved so now the controller automatically is asking you anything else so he is ready to be uh, yeah to be pro programmed again so new yes time switch yes now the controller is smart enough okay you programmed a on a program so now probably to switch off some, so we need as next heading, we need a off control command. Okay, let's go on. So that means now, so then this stage we have to type in, for instance, so when we want to have the off time. So I take here again, this keypad here, and I'm telling the controller, so uh, let's say 5 p.m. Um, we talk it a day and uh, then the controller switches off. If you want to have accurate to the minute, five and 10 minutes and confirming, and you know now how it works. So Monday, yes, you save it, copy, then I add it on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yes, Saturday, how you know, you know it? Okay, skip, skip, and then don't forget to save it. Okay, so well, Sounds easy, looks easy, it is easy. So, okay, one step back with uh, the menu. And for instance, uh, if you want to, yeah, to, to do the query, for instance, so program, yeah, okay, channel one, I want to know, standard program, yes. And now you can choose here, for instance, so check modify, for instance, yes, I want to check now, it's time switch, yes, here you are. So you do have here exactly 7 a.m. switching on time if you confirm. So the next heading, okay, and this is five, uh, five o'clock, 10 minutes p.m. It's the off time and next, okay, there is nothing else except you discover here, okay, now the clock tells me uh, now it's Tuesday. And if you confirm by pressing okay, you um, yeah, you rotate through the entire weekly program. Okay, here on top, definitely you discover there is a kind of a bar which gives you a rough indication. Uh, better, here is better to see. So it gives you a rough indication. So from till there is the time program, for instance. Okay, you got it? Pretty simple. Yeah. If you want to delete with the menu, I go step back. Confirm this one here again. Go now here on check modify switching time. Yes. So and if you go ahead now, 
So you can go through, modify, so you can enter, and if you confirm now modification, you want to modify 5, uh, five o'clock 10 to 4 o'clock 10, just as an example. You confirm it by pressing OK. Minutes, you know how it works. Confirm by pressing OK. And now you, you are acquired. So shall we modify the entire block? Or if you press again, for instance, a single day so, and confirm then, so then you have done the modification finally. That's it. So it's easy and rather fast to be modified. Yeah, one step uh, further, so programming. So this yearly time switch <coughs> is as powerful than you can have uh, hundreds of these, let's say, time settings. One of the, let's say, good very, uh, added values, for instance, is finally as well. So we do have a kind of impulse program. What does impulse program mean? Impulse program finally is, I take here for this purpose, the channel two. Standard program, yes. New, yes. And uh, impulse means, for instance, for a bell ring in a school or in a public building, whatever. So when you need just a short impulse of uh, 10 or 15 seconds, however, and this shall, uh, let's say, uh, cyclically happen uh, every 45 minutes or whatever. So we, have, we do have here the switching time. Or if I go here one step further with this keypad here, I enter here the menu pulse, confirm, pressing OK. I want to have an on pulse to exactly to start the bell ringing. And then, for instance, here you can apply. So at, just as an example, 8 o'clock early morning uh, minutes, you know how it works. If you want to have it precise on the seconds, so theoretically and practically, you can start this powerful controller as well at 8 o'clock and just for the example and precise five seconds. Then you want to start the impulse and here you decide finally how long this pulse finally should be. Now here the minutes are flashing and you get the, in the, uh, the, the supporting text. Minutes, this is exactly what is flashing. I confirm by pressing OK because I don't want, uh, let's say, one minute long. Now you get here the text supporting. Now we set the seconds and I want to have here, for instance, 15 seconds of the bell ringing and one step back. OK, and confirm by pressing OK. And now you are acquired every day or now you know how it works. So, for instance, I press just for Monday, confirm, do a copy. OK, because I want to have it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and probably Friday, Saturday, no school, Sunday, no school and don't forget to save. And that's it. Yeah. So rather simple, rather easy to set up and to program. Hopefully this was the first good insight to this uh, powerful controller series. And uh, furthermore, you will discover in our next tutorial. See you.